Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Raspbian X running on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is coming to us from Pi Labs, the same creator of Raspbian XP and Raspbian 95. But instead of theming Raspbian like Windows 95, Windows 98, or XP, we're getting a more modern Windows 10 look. And this actually works really well. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. He does recommend overclocking, but this release will come without an overclock. So people who don't want to overclock don't have to worry about it. But as I mentioned, this is released by Pi Labs. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description as making this video. There is no release on it, but it's coming up soon. So keep an eye on that channel if you want to get a hold of Raspbian X, otherwise known as Raspbian 10. He's added a lot of great applications straight out of the box with this release. We even have RetroPie built in, so you don't have to do any installation with that. You just need to add your own ROMs. And he's also included Steam. Now keep in mind, Steam is still very experimental. There are a lot of 2D games that actually work with Box86 right in Steam, and I'll show you that when we get into the video. I've actually been messing around with this distro for the last 24 hours, and I've had a great time with it. It's worked really well on this Raspberry Pi 4, especially with that overclock, but keep in mind this is still Linux. This is not Windows. It's Raspbian skin to look like Windows 10. And with this release, he's added a lot of awesome applications that we can mess around with right out of the box. So I'm going to connect this to my game capture, and we'll get right into it. Here it is. We definitely have that Windows 10 look. We have the little Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner. The search function does work in here. As you can see, I've just searched for RE and it's brought up everything here. Like I mentioned, with Raspbian XP and Raspbian 95, Salvador put these together because he really loves Box86. And Box86 is an awesome x86 emulator for ARM-based devices. It works on the Raspberry Pi 4, obviously. He's got me a few pre-installed games here. Now these are originally designed for x86 platforms, but they do run on the Raspberry Pi using Box86. We do have RetroPie installed right out of the box, and you might have noticed on my desktop, I have Steam. Now don't get too excited, there is some stuff that works in here, I'm going to go ahead and launch it. But you're not going to be able to run GTA 5 on a little machine like this. So I've got it up and running. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in large mode. Nothing's going to populate here go to small mode, and I've installed a few games. Now I was able to get two of these working. Let's go ahead and try one out. I'm using my Linux games, and we'll go with Freedom Planet. So this was installed with Steam. I didn't do any extra setup, and we have Freedom Planet up and running. Steam is something that the main developer of Box86 has been working on, and he's got a few games running in here, and they actually work really well. A lot of the 2D games that work directly from Steam are perfectly playable at 720p on the Raspberry Pi 4. There's a few standalone emulators pre-installed, like ZSNES, but let's go ahead and start up one of these games here. We're going to go with another Metroid 2 remake. Just click on it. Like I said, this was originally designed to run on x86 PCs. And we're getting really good performance here. Now this does not come overclocked like Raspbian XP or Raspbian 95, but it's highly recommended to overclock this unit. I'm at 2.1 gigahertz on the CPU and 700 megahertz on the GPU. I'm going to skip into a little bit of gameplay here. I understand that this is an easier to run 2D game, but I'm pretty impressed with the performance here given that this was designed for x86 CPUs and we're running it on a Raspberry Pi 4. So that definitely works really well, and keep in mind, I mean, this is still Linux. This is Raspbian skin to look like Windows 10, so if there's anything you want to install on this Raspberry Pi, you can just open up Terminal and install it from there. Very easy to do. He has pre-installed RetroPie. I set my controller up just so we could take a look here. I personally haven't added any games yet, but it's RetroPie right here from the desktop. We can exit right out of here. I'll go to Quit, Quit Emulation Station. It'll bring us right back to the Raspbian X desktop. Chromium Media Edition is pre-installed, so we can watch Netflix, Disney Plus, and YouTube at pretty good speeds. I'll go to Netflix. And we'll just start this up. So yeah, Netflix, Amazon Prime, 
Hulu, Disney+, Spotify, all of that's going to work with Raspbian X right out of the box with that Chromium Media Edition. So we do have that wide vine driver installed ready to go. We also have this little CPU section down here. I can go through here. And for some reason, it's showing up at 2.3 gigahertz, but I only have this overclocked to 2.1. But I can set each core to performance and the highest clock on my CPU. So we'll go to performance. And we should get an all around better experience going like this. But you will need sufficient cooling for your Raspberry Pi 4 or 3 if you're going to go with something like this. Or if you want all out performance, all we need to do is type in performance in the search bar. Actually, you don't even have to type it all the way out. We can choose performance. And down here, you can see we're set to performance. You want to go to power save. We can go to power save. So he's made that little shortcut really easy. I'm going to stick with performance here. But yeah, I really like that little feature that he's added to this. And one thing I should have showed off at the very beginning was the login screen. I mean, this is the Windows 10 login screen. If I scroll up from here, I can put in my password, and it'll log me right in. Now, we've been taking a look at a lot of the 2D games running with Box86, so let's go ahead and check out a 3D game. This is something I've installed myself. I didn't download it from Steam or anything like that. And it's Unreal. So I'm going to right-click, Open Terminal, and I'm going to run this Unreal.sh. It's going to load it up with Box86, and we can play Unreal or Unreal Tournament 99 on a Raspberry Pi 4 at a pretty decent speed. So yeah, I mean, I really do like this setup here. Salvador from Pi Labs did a really good job with this one, just like he did with Raspbian XP and Raspbian 95. If you're interested in picking this up, make sure you keep an eye on his channel because he will have a link to download it very soon. He's working out a few bugs here and there, but the release is imminent, and I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the top of the description, so as soon as this is ready, you can head over there and download it. It's just going to be an image you'll have to flash to an SD card, and that's pretty much it. He does recommend changing the password, but he's got this readme here that tells you everything you need to do. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but you'd probably be better off waiting for the release and then asking Salvador himself over on his YouTube channel. But like always, thanks for watching.